Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Keisha. I've never tried faux dreads before, but it's something that I've always wanted to try. For my birthday this year, I went ahead and did some goddess faux dreads in my hair. And when I posted them on my Instagram, you guys wanted to see how to do it. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how to do these faux goddess locks and a little bit about how to maintain it since it's been in my hair for about two to three weeks now. On my channel, I post a lot of skincare, DIY, hair care lifestyle videos if that sounds like something that you're interested in then make sure you are subscribed and without further ado let's get started so this is what they look like and if you guys can see there's a few different colors in it as well you don't have to do them all black I'm gonna share with you guys first the hair that I used number one we have our twisting hair this is like a it's like a deep body wave type of curl and this is what I use to twist my whole head. Now you can use Marley hair, but I didn't want it to be as fluffy. I did end up using some Marley hair, but I'll show you guys a little bit of that later. I did end up using two jumbo packs. So they were like three large bundles in the pack and I got two of them. Next you're gonna want another type of curl. So this one is, I think it's a Brazilian wave. It's very different from this one that you see here. And this is what I use on the ends. You don't have to really add this part. You can leave it just like a blunt end. And I've done that for some of them, but I think it adds a nice little touch by having a little bit of that curliness at the end. Next, you're gonna need some Kinecolon hair, just some regular braiding hair. And this is in the color 1B. I did pick up a jumbo pack of the Kinecolon hair because I use it all the time when I braid my hair, so I might as well get it on sale. To spice up the hair a little bit more, you may want to add a little bit of color. So these are the two colors that I added into my hair. This one's like a honey brown and then we have more of like a, a rustic brown just to give it a little bit more color and like I said these ones are the Marley hair so it's a lot thicker. You can use this all over the hair but I did want it to be a little bit more soft so that's why I didn't go for that but like I said there are pieces in here that incorporate the Marley hair and you can see the difference in the texture of the hair. A little bit different in texture this one's a little bit more softer this one's a little more coarse i do think the marley looks a little bit more natural but i didn't want it to be so jumble and like hard to move i ended up combining some of them into the rest of the hair so it kind of looks like a blend i have one pack of this one pack of this all of the hair in total cost me about $60. Now, if you forgo like the colored hair as well as the little Brazilian hair, you can get away with like $20, $25 max on this hairstyle versus getting it done at a salon and having it cost $500. Yes, it does take a long time, so it is priced accordingly, but I mean, if you can do it yourself, then why not? <laughs> okay, so. I already went through one wash day, so I'm gonna share with you guys exactly what I use to wash my hair. When your hair is in any type of extension style, a dropper bottle is your best friend. And this is exactly what I use to wash my hair. The shampoo that I use is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil, this one right here. I put it in the dropper bottle and then filled it up with water so it can really go through the hair. And then you just kind of section it by four and massage the scalp. It doesn't need to go on the rest of the hair, just the scalp is all you need. Now for conditioner, you don't really want to put a lot of conditioner on this hair because it will just eat up all of your products. You just want to focus it on the hair. And what I actually did was use apple cider vinegar. I showed you guys how to make my DIY apple cider vinegar rinse. I'll link it up above as well as in the description. But I put that in a dropper bottle as well and use that as a conditioner. So I wash that out after about 30 minutes. And then I have this little spray bottle here. And this is another one of your best friends when you have extensions. So a spray bottle, and what I put in it is this leave-in conditioner. This is the, the main choice, soft as can be, three-in-one revitalize and refresh conditioner. It's a co-wash, a leave-in, and a detangler. So I put a little bit of this in here along with my aloe vera, because this does amazing things for my hair. And this is, of course, the one from Seven Minerals. Um, so that just kept my hair nice and refreshed. And I spray this in my hair every like two days or so. To make sure I'm locking in all of that hydration, I do put an oil on top and I'll put it through my scalp as well. This is just a DIY hair oil that I made. I'm still testing it out. So when I am done, I will share with you guys a DIY on this hair oil. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I did. And then at night, I just take like a bandana and wrap it over my hair to go to bed. 
Now there are people that will do their baby hairs, but I really don't care. So I just leave it as is. First thing you want to start off with freshly washed hair. You do want to make sure that it's deep conditioned. This thing, I don't know what it is about synthetic hair, but it dries out your hair like nothing else. You want to make sure that you're starting off with the best possible scenario. So deep condition your hair, put a leave-in conditioner, your cream, your oil, and make sure it's blow dried. Okay, so once you're ready, you wanna start off with a little bit of Kanekalon hair. This is just a straight braiding hair. Now you can do the actual twist with Kanekalon hair all the way down the hair, but I feel like it makes it too heavy and too stiff. So I only do it like a little ways down. So we're gonna start off with this. Just braid your hair like normal. I'm um, gonna start with a one twist. And then let's go. And of course you don't want this to be too, too thick because it's just gonna be too big. <laughs> so a little bit, doesn't have to be too tight at the base either because when you twist, it's gonna make it tighter as well. So just go down until your hair is covered. And that is just about it. Once you get to that point, you don't have to braid it all the way down. That's a little bit too much effort. And this hairstyle already takes way too long. So next you wanna take your twisting hair and I'm going to get my latch hook. So this right here. This latch hook is probably the most important part of this hairstyle. This is how you're gonna get it to stay in your hair. So you wanna make sure it's open. You put the hair through it like that and then close the latch, okay? So, we're gonna start by putting the latch hook through the actual hair, like this, all the way through. Then, put the hair in the actual latch, almost like you're threading hair. Close the latch down and slide it through. Now, once you slide it through, you only want one side to come through, so just make sure one side comes, Okay, so there you go, you're gonna have three strands. So your actual hair, you're gonna have your standing hair, which is gonna combine to your actual hair, and then you have a free one that you're gonna wrap around. So I like to make the free strand a bit longer, just so I can wrap more. But so you start off with this, I put my finger by the base, and you wanna wrap around the base like this and keep your index finger to make sure that it stays nice and tight. You don't want to make it too tight because you're not trying to cut off your hair but you just need it to lay flat against the actual hair. So just keep twisting and as you're twisting just come down the hair. You want to make sure that the hair here is overlapping so no space between it. So keep going. I typically twist until my hair or the Kanekalon hair is completely covered. Now like I said, you can make these a little bit thicker. This one ended up just being a little bit thinner than the rest. I feel like when they are different sizes, it makes it look a little bit more effortless and that's the whole point of the goddess style. Once you get down here, I take the curly bits because this is what I love to have on the end and let me show you. You're going to make sure that one side is short and the other side is long because this is going to be the end of our hair. So you're going to go ahead and loop it over where your free standing hair is. So loop it like that, okay? So it forms a loop over your hair, like that. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. So now you've looped it over this strand right here. Does that make sense? Okay. Then you're going to connect these two sides together. So everything that you are already holding, just combine it into both sides and then continue wrapping. And the reason why you're doing this is so that you can just seamlessly blend it in to the rest of your hair. Keep wrapping. Once you've covered the knot, then you wanna add both of the wrapping hairs together and continue wrapping until you cover the end of this curly hair. Once you've come down to the end of your curly hair, you want to reverse the way that you're twisting so that it locks in place. So hold your hand here and start twisting upwards like this. Some people lock it in with 
um, glue, some people use a miter. I find just like the little straggly ends of the hair is enough for me, but you can always secure it more if you'd like. And it literally looks like there's nothing left in my hand, but I'm still wrapping the little ends into the hair. Once it looks like this, you can go ahead and roll it between your palms. And there you go. I feel like once they get old, they look more realistic. Once they're new, it's a little too prim and prop, but when they're old, they look a little bit more realistic. So I love when it gets like this. <laughs> Yeah, and if you see that anything starts to unravel, what you can do is actually just take more hair and wrap it around. Another thing I want to show you guys is how to retouch this type of hairstyle. So, you want to get okay, a little bit more of your hair, and this is what I love about it the most. Um, you're going to cut it in half. Okay, and you can either leave it like this or cut it in half again. I'm gonna make it a little bit thinner. It's so like that, so there we go. And you're basically gonna go back to the root and do the exact same thing. Since we did the front of our hair, I'm just gonna do the other side to make it look a little bit more prim and prop as well. So here we are. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So take your strand, take your latch hook, put it beneath the hair, and then add, close the latch, and pull it through, pull one side through, okay? Then take your free standing braid, your index finger on the actual base and wrap. And this is gonna make it a little bit more neat and it's gonna help you just like make sure the hair stays really firm just in case you do want it to look a little bit more prim and prop. But it's super easy to touch up. I did it on like the front of all of these and maybe a week ago, cause they do tend to slide out a little bit just cause you're literally just wrapping the hair. So go ahead and add the other freestanding piece and continue wrapping. Now it looks a bit tighter here on the base and it's all wrapped in. And you can do this all the way down the hair if anything starts to unloose as well. So sorry about the audio in the last part, my mic just died. But like I said, I love when it looks a little bit more grown out because it hangs down. Like you can see this one because it's brand new, it kind of sticks up a little bit. It will eventually drop once it's been there for a while. But anyways, that is how I achieved this hairstyle. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below and let me know if you've ever tried faux locks. And also if you're going to be trying them, I would love to hear your thoughts. Make sure you click over here to see some of my previous videos and I'll see you lovely ladies and gents in my next one. Bye.